This is Amateur Sports TV and Radio. We're on the phone with Brent Machin, captain of the Muskoka Anglers. How you doing today, Brett? I'm doing pretty good. How about you? We're good. We're good. Let me, uh, you guys just come off a showcase weekend. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, we had two games down in Seaforth. We played the uh, SS Lions at uh, 10.30 in the morning. And then at 2.30 we played the uh, Great Highland Hawks. We won the second game against the Hawks. It was the first time we've beaten them, which was a good win for us. But we ended up losing to the Stallions in the morning. Two very, very tough teams, but uh, to beat the number one team, you can't complain about that. Yeah, I would agree. <clears throat> you guys are uh, a new team this year. Um, tell me what it's like to play on a new team and, and to be the captain of that team as well. Um, Coming in, it was kind of weird because there was no, nothing really set in place yet. I guess you would say there's no like traditions. But as the years progress, we've kind of created our own traditions. And, I mean, being captain is a great honor for me. But I've been captain before, but I guess taking it on this team, that bigger role for me. You're from New Jersey. Tell me what it's like. Uh, you took a year off. You were playing college last year. Tell me what it's like, you know, uh, comparing the two college uh, to playing uh, junior hockey in Canada now. Oh, uh, yeah. Back in New Jersey, the hockey isn't as uh, physical compared to up in Canada. And then... Playing in college was a lot, I would say, softer. I'm making a lot more physical up here. Uh, 15 goals, 28 assists. Uh, <clears throat> you're probably more of a goal scorer than uh, the physical player. Yeah, I mean, I guess I'm trying to use my size to my advantage and just try to talk to my back. What, um, <clears throat> you're, this your first year? What what what's next year hold for you? Uh, I mean, I hope maybe I can move up to a better league. Uh, maybe get a scholarship to go play some college hockey. What uh, long term wise, Brent? What's what's on the radar for you? Is it hockey? Uh, academic wise, where are you looking at? You want to be? Uh, I mean, I guess kind of a combination of both. If I can continue my hockey career, that'd be awesome, but I wouldn't mind going to college. When I first year of college, I was an engineering major, so academics was a weak spot for me. <clears throat> Playoffs are just around the corner. Uh, how do you feel that you guys will match up in the playoffs? I think the playoffs for us would be very good. we got a good goaltender, good coaching. The team's kind of just coming together lately. So I think we should do very good in the playoffs. Well, they always say there's two hockey seasons, right? Uh, regular season, then playoffs, and you got to gel at the right time, and it sounds like you guys are gelling at the right time. Yeah, I would agree. It just, everyone's, I guess, lately is just kind of excited for playoffs coming. So everyone's just giving up their own practice, and we're working our butt off. Tell me, uh, I, your coach sent us some pictures. Tell me, uh, you guys do a lot of volunteering in the community. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, um, we volunteer a couple of times throughout the week. We uh, help learn to ski. We help out our local food kitchen. Help out the thrift store. We help them set up clothes. That is awesome. Like every good junior team, uh, whether you're junior or in the NHL, you should be volunteering to help out with the local people. Yeah, we figure out, I mean, we help out the local and they come out and support us. So. Well, Brent, we want to thank you for coming on the air with us today. Is there anything you'd like to add or say hello to anybody? Uh, no. Thanks for having me. No problem. Thanks, buddy. Let's, uh, go Anglers.